Welcome, my little marionettes. I've been sitting on this game for since last uh, Black Friday, I think, and finally, finally started to play it. <laughs> I love the first game, and yeah, I can't believe it's been like o over ten years since the game came out. Survivor, every bullet counts. That's new. All right, might as well go for broke. I'm got the uh, check the options here. I got Vita Chambers. Where, where is it? Does it? Yep, Vita Chamber disabled, turned on. So, it's gonna go for that. <laughs> first time I um, played this game uh, on the, not first time I played it, but when I was trying to go over the Brass Ball achievement on a 360, I didn't know about the disabled Vita Chambers. I actually played throughout the game trying not to die, and if I died, I'd always reload the save. And wondering, why did I get the, get the achievement? And I thankfully was able to just proc that Vita Chamber Disable on, and was able to beat the game from the final save and actually get the achievement. I had to play the whole game all over again. Thank God it recognized that I didn't save using any of the Vita Chambers. They told me, son, you're special. You were born to do great things. You know what? They were right. <coughs> and no player knew that it was Jack who brought down that plane. Oh, uh, excuse me, spoilers. <laughs> you, you should have played this game already if you're watching my channel. Let's see how the graphics aged. The underwater murkiness is kind of meh. I mean, it's all right. It's not terrible, but that this part's definitely showing its age a bit. Might be my TV. I don't know. I don't have like a 1080p OLED or anything. I'm sitting on a LCD 720p TV. <laughs> I got the I got the like the lowest end of HDTVs going on here. <laughs> Alright, I think the sensitivity, the sensitivity I got going is good. Oh, you can actually, uh, I wonder if I, can you actually die? I'm gonna die. Burn! Burn alive! In oil! I have no health bar, so I don't know if I'm actually dying. Let's uh, get burned alive while I watch this sink. I actually did sit here, it takes about, I don't know, several minutes, and then eventually uh, that the tail of the plane will actually fully sink. I guess you can't burn yourself. Or you just reacts to it, but it doesn't get hurt. But yeah, you sit here and uh, that'll eventually sink all the way down. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit here and watch the whole thing sink. It's gonna be a waste of my, uh, waste of your time, a waste of my storage space, a waste of everybody's space. <laughs> the big ass moon. It's so dark, I can't see. Heretic. No, wait, we're wrong. What am I saying? <laughs> Dictator! Fucking. A little mini stall in there. I don't know, is that accurate for Andrew Ryan? Uh. Outside of the whole socialism thing. God, I remember when this uh, game was first teased, how many years ago, I don't know how long it was before the actual release, but man, this up, up, story time. I am Andrew Ryan, and I'm here to ask you a question. Is a man not entitled 
to the sweat of his brow. No, says the man in Washington, it belongs to the poor. No, says the man in the Vatican, it belongs to God. No, says the man in Moscow, it belongs to everyone. I rejected those answers. Instead, I chose something different. I chose the impossible. I chose rapture. This music, though. The artist would not fear the censor. Where the scientists would not be bound by petty morality. Where the great would not be constrained by the small. And with the sweat of your brow, rapture can become your city as well. I mean, uh, Andrew Ryan. The whole Washington no belongs to the poor. They don't take all your money for their taxes, you know? And the social programs that we have in America only work because of capitalism. Like, that's the beauty of it. They're not socialist programs, they're social programs. They work because of the amount of money to be made from capitalism. Keeping those at the bottom afloat, surviving, so that way they can, you know, do their part as well. You know, the ones that do do their part, it's... Uh... If, if everyone... If there was no tax, everyone just kept everything to themselves, and fucking capitalism would fall apart. I don't know if there's any... story lore on uh, Bioshock, I mean, that... that actually... Out of like novels being made from video games, Bioshock, they should have that if they if they don't. I don't know, I haven't checked. But I'm interested in here, you know, if someone sees someone write about the actual creation of uh, Rapture and stuff. And like, how many people are there, the type of government they had, like completely in detail. And just see kind of how it compares to now with all the social, political, topical issues going on of late. I mean, especially since, uh, like, communism, for example, would only work in a commune, in a, you know, very small populace, small location. And that's the problem with modern-day communism. They try to attribute it to large countries. It never works. But Rapture, not that it wasn't ever trying to be communist. It's really capitalist. It's, well, not fully capitalist, but, you know, keep what you make and all that stuff. How, how would uh, communism work in a place like Rapture, considering how many people are actually in it? You think I can move now, right? You think I'd be able to move and not be stuck right here? Kind of remember how freaky this was when I first played it. How many fucking a, over a decade ago, man? I know I wasn't. Uh, I don't think I got it directly at launch. But it was soon after. Let me get the radio. It was soon after, and let's see, 2007. I was 18. Young, young adult. Open. I want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, wait, wait. I don't. You didn't say would you kindly. I'm not moving. I don't have to listen to you. You know, I don't have to listen to you, Atlas. I can just stay here. It's, this seems safe. I'll just stay here. I'm just gonna huddle in the corner. I'm gonna sit here. I don't have to do anything unless you, you know, ask me if I would kindly, you know? I mean, if you play the game, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I can just sit here. I'm just gonna sit here. I don't have to do shit. I don't have to go to that guy. just got gutted in front of me. I don't want to go out there. I mean, it, it looks like I'd be safer in here. I could close this hatch. In case that actually, that, that glass breaks and all the ocean comes in. I'm a philosophobic. I, 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 this is scary enough. I don't, I don't, I don't want to actually be at risk of drowning here underneath all this deep ocean and all these things that want to eat me. I know, philosophobic. Grew up in, grew up in Hawaii. Kind of weird, huh? We're gonna need to draw out of hiding, but you're gonna have to trust me. Already a Vita Chamber, but I don't need to use it. How's the earliest you can die? Can I actually die that close to that Vita Chamber? Huh. If I actually try dying? So, you're in the vents, based on your voice. You know, I'm using headphones and shit. Oh, get, get up, move. 
It's a weird jump. God, I'm like fucking tripping over my feet here. I mean, I can already tell this game's age, but it's it's aged quite well, honestly. I think so. Wow, the reach. Oh my god, I'm hurt. Oh my god! Dude, what's with this? Whoa, are you serious? This is survival difficulty? What's with this guy's? What? I can't block. There's no blocking in this game. What the fuck is health? What the fuck? Is Oh god, dude, dude, I'm gonna die from the first little grunt in the game. Is there any food? Oh god, there is food. Oh my god. Oh, I'm gonna play the Ring Around the Rosie game. Oh. Oh. No. Oh god. No, 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 no. I'm fucking hurt. Are you serious? This is how hard this is gonna be? This is how hard it's gonna be? Food. That's nothing. That is nothing. And of course, I'm also, uh... You have died. Load last save game, okay. I don't remember uh, it saying you have died in regular Bioshock. Right, oh, load last save game. Where, where, where do I load from? Jesus, is that... Wow, that's hard. God damn, I can't get that uh, gun any sooner. Really? Maybe I just run to the fucking... No, I took his... I'm not getting it like, you're my daddy's smarter than Einstein. I'm not. So I can't just run and grab the. Oh my god, I gotta watch this whole part all over again. I'm just gonna pause this and skip. Alright, how am I gonna do this? This is, uh, this is difficult. That guy did not wanna lose health. Okay, now it's going that way. Are you serious? Okay. Don't fucking judge me! That's all you got! Uh, come on! He was swinging in the other direction. How did he hit me? The range. The range. I mean, my range is pretty hard. Chunk. Oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <gasps> Fuck you. <gasps> oh boy, man. Eat those potato chips. And that pet bar. Mm. I'm not gonna use the health health potion. I or the health kit. I think maybe maybe it'll give my health back after the cutscene. I hope. You know, I hope that, you know, little tricks, little hardcore tricks there. Remember the hardcore tricks that I did in, uh, Dead Space 2. Man, I should have recorded that, my gameplay. That was, that was, that was something. All right. Oh, hey, yeah, let's fade in those black bars, top and bottom, make it all cinematic, you know. It really isn't, isn't necessary. This scene would be just as good without the fucking black bars on the top and the bottom. The fuck you think you are, that asshole that directs Quantic Dream? And again, Ken Levine, brilliant as he is, artist, pretentious, all that stuff. I mean, I'm right there with him. I'm just not successful or known. Wow, those uh, that's uh, subtitles are really early, really early. That's one thing I don't like about subtitles. They should only appear when the dialogue is there. It's like. I don't know, maybe there should like two separate subtitles, not just for deaf people, also for people who just want to have if they're, you know, slightly hearing impaired and like myself or they just want to have to make sure they hear all the words correctly it's, you have the subtitles appear at the same exact time as the dialogue that's why it doesn't work, that's why this whole oh my god, deaf people are marginalized, we need to have subtitles force people to have captions for everything well, until captions are actually perfected <laughs> you know, for everyone that's not a viable course of action go fuck yourself and your fucking deafness Look, Mr. Bubbles. and no, that's not Angel. me being ableist or whatever the fuck the term is because I'm all room. for the inclusion anyway, with, you know, options coming. for people with impairment but you don't force everyone else to actually have to deal with those options. They're not options at that point, you know? You alright, boy? First time plasmids a real kick from a mule. But 
Yep, I got my health back. I knew it. <laughs> Did I? I missed? Okay. Wow, that used a lot of... That used a lot of Eve. Holy shit. Oh, okay. Yep. Force my perspective. Yep. Get through this. I've seen all this before. That would be cool if, like, you stuck around that actually just broke and, you know, got drowned and shit. Ugh. Grab that Eve. Invite a chamber I'm not gonna use. Oh. Yep. Dead cat. There's always dead cats. There's never. You never, um, dogs, and the fact that they're all tuxedo cats, and that, you know, well, you guys don't know, but a couple years ago, I had a tux- well, no, yeah, almost, yeah, about a couple years ago now, I had a tuxedo cat that died from, uh, a, a congenital heart tumor, and he was only a couple years old, I had him, yeah, it was not fun, and I'm gonna see that a lot differently now. Oh, I gotta zap him twice. Okay, their reach on this is a little ridiculous. <laughs> oh, hi. I'm not a bad person. Wow, you tried swinging a real too far away, dude. Ow. This is gonna really change up how I play this game. I'm not smoking cigarettes. I don't need Eve. I don't know what that does. And I am... Damn it. I am gonna scrounge. I don't think I like this crosshair. Nope, not even want to load. What am I saying? Eh, yeah, fuck it. I'll save. Why not? I'm already here. Let's see if I can handle not having that quest arrow. Item, yeah, the item shimmer honestly is a little. I just don't like to care for the noise of the item shimmer. Yeah, let's turn that off. Let's see. Usable object highlight. Um, that's fine. Uh, where was it? Quest arrow, not quest arrow. Item shimmer. Expand FOV, customize controls, invert, like auto, auto aim vibration. Mm. I guess uh, you can't turn that off. I thought it was um, quest arrows. Let's see. Nope, I can't turn that off. That sucks. It's like this big circle in my screen. I don't know. Maybe I just, my brain changed from when I used to play this game when I was younger. Fuck it. I don't know. Oh well, just deal with it, hashtag. Adam Orth, show me the way to deal with everything that I can deal I with. Okay, that's all that. I like how this thing's just automatic, I don't have to press any buttons. What came out first? This or ra uh, not rage, blurp. Um, this or um, blurp. Uh, prey, the original prey, because I think that was the first game I remember the whole like the whole wrench weapon. Or it could have been the other way around. I have to look at the dates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Prey came out in 2006. That's right. I think. That lady was freaky. First played this, I thought there was actually a baby in there. Why is it today and not then when you The great chain is guided by our hand.
Uh, can I help you with your baby? Can can I can I help you with your baby? Can I? <laughs> you can see your pretty face there. Yeesh. You have no eyes. I mean, your eyes are white. Okay. I always like the uh, art style. Their heads are kind of a little, little bigger. That's why everyone felt like Be Happy Few was supposed to be, you know, wow. Did I turn off the item shimmer? Didn't I turn off the item shimmer? Let's see. I'm pretty sure I turned off the item shimmer. I did. So, so what the hell? Yeah, fuck it. I don't know. Let's see if it affects. If it may has affect things later on. But anyway. I hope we happy few. It's been delayed again. Actually, is good because I have a music video idea for it if it works out. But I don't know. Time will tell. The fucking, of course, the, everyone loved the trailer, but gameplay was left a lot to be desired. Of course, I'm not an Xbox I, anymore. I wasn't able to try it out. I thought that was supposed to give me a little Eve. I thought it was to give me a little Eve. Oh well. <laughs> that worked. Nah, Charlie! I got your number. Oh! Damn it! Oh. Why, 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 why? I didn't mean to use the health. Why, why are they appearing now? God damn it, really? Oh, come on! Shit! Give me a drink, give me get those smokes. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, it doesn't give me full health. That doesn't give me full health. Are you serious? Wow. This is this is gonna be hard. Wow. Jeez. Call does. I want to play the diary. Another New Year's, another night alone. I'm out and you're stuck in Festus working. Huh. Imagine my surprise. Oh, Damn it. <laughs> I'm trying to jump. Why am I pressing to circle to jump? Silliest girl in Rapture. Silly enough to fall in love with Andrew Ryan. Have all the drinks. <laughs> I'll take that. Yeah, I could use a little more Eve. Or not. Actually, I don't even fucking put a dent in it. I don't know how much it uses. Jeez. Let's see, I can reload that. Stairs. Derby. I heard. I'll come back. There, you're weak enough to get with one hit. Oh, that that uh, smokes did help me save that last shock dosage. All right, my health is okay. Oh yeah, for for see the little. I always end up missing that first little sister. Always not missing seeing her. Always looking around. Shit.
Oh yeah, this shit. Ghosts. Remember they explain it somehow, but I forgot. Yeah, that's why this game kind of reminded me a bit of, you know, the Prey thing because of the uh, wrenches, using the toilets. That was that wasn't Prey, the original Prey. I still gotta play the uh, new Prey. I have it and played a little bit of it, but it's just like some of those games where I have to restart the whole damn thing. Play the goddamn. I was holding. I, uh, whatever. Anyway, it's one of those games you gotta like really just start like really keep on playing because it's so complicated and I forgot about it forgot how to play it so I gotta start it over Call the cop on me. Come back. Ah, ah shit damn it I fucking double dosed it <coughs> fucking spamming the button fuck Make sure to use all this shit up. Always flush. Careful now. Would you kindly lower that weapon for a minute? Oh, oh I suddenly I just listened to him, huh? I love this scene. Should have just shot her, dude. Yeah, you weren't prepared at all, buddy. Man, that's gonna suck fighting a big daddy on this difficulty. Yeah, you must be the guy from the opening cutscene or the uh, the teaser cutscene. <laughs> That's the big daddy. She got it on him. He keeps her safe. Well, how convenient to not let me move ahead until after, you know, everything here. Yeah, because uh, all it takes is a wrench to break a fucking huge ass padlock like that. Uh, Hollywood and video game logic. Thank you for those. Thank you for everyone up caring about money and ammo. Little sis. Okay, I want to go back there. God, I like blood and guts and shit. Shit. Come on. Shit, I'm gonna have to. Just a whip for this bitch. Are you fucking serious? She's fucking whore. <gasps> oh, come on, man. Come on! Wish there was a strong attack. Okay, I gotta save this. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm gonna zap them in that water. At least that's still an instant death. It'd suck if I didn't kill them. All right, Shocky, go away. There we go.
Oh yeah, yeah, when I go to that door is when it locks up, so... I'm gonna look around first, I remember that. Anybody in here? Okay. Yum yums. Drink some water. Out of the toilets. Oh, those will help. Thank you. This. I always thought it was weird, like the tanks are way up there. I've never seen any toilets like that. I don't know if that's just how they used to be in the past or. That's bullshit. You can't flush a toilet that quickly after you flush it once. Alright. That's it. Here we go. Their flamethrower. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Zap. Oh, she's tough. No, 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 no. Get in the water, bitch. Oh, you're smart. You're smart, huh? Nope, nope. Get move, you move, move. Yes. Fucking bitch. Get the stuffs. Where's the other body? There's two there should be a second body. Get in. Try up, loot the. Okay, there's, 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 good. That's all of them. That's all of them. That's all of them. Ah, what the hell is that? Jeez. You know, that's not how water works. You walk through it. Your vision just doesn't just go like, oh, oh, look, it's all sh liquid all over me. That's not. That. Why do games do that? God. Such a fucking weird cliche. Ah, oh, hello, Andrew Ryan. I remember that this is where the uh, demo ended. Pretty solid uh, introduction to the game. I, you know, demo to let you know if it was the game or not. I like how it's just a picture of him, not an actual video feed. Makes no sense, but okay. There doesn't need to be an actual video feed, it could just be an audio. But it does make this scene pretty cool with them, like, banging at the shit. Oh yeah, as I'm talking over Ryan, I'm sorry, there's probably enough footage of, you know, the scene without people talking over it. Just, just, go watch that if you care. Play the game. Hi. Hi. You're not actually gonna break through, you know, I know you're not. You know, they'd be a lot closer smashing through, like, why are they, like, fucking two, three feet away? The girl should have the shortest reach, and she's just... right... she's, like, seems to be furthest away. Also, there's... it's gonna barred, so that's also... how are you gonna break through? Here, here, let me help. Here, can I reload? Yeah... Let me help you, let me help you. That doesn't... Oh, you don't even have to walk, you don't even have to enter. I forgot about that. You don't even have to enter the actual fucking, the, like that transfer chamber that looks like a fucking, um, de you know, decontamination chamber because it just, it just fades to black. It's like, yeah, fuck you. You're, you're, you're going to the next level, bitch. Uh, I should conclude the first episode. Uh, see how this turns out. I should play more of it, but uh, definitely going to play more of it myself at least. Oh, till next time, my little marionettes. Ah.
Say goodbye, cat. Meow.